Welcome to today's Studio Armor Review. I'm going to start my video series on my Exodite vehicles with this very, very unusual looking vehicle. Now, there are very, very few chariots. Actually, I think there are only two chariots in the 40K. No, there is three chariots in the 40K uh, system. But as I was, uh, one day I had, I was a beneficiary of this kind of a, almost a bits giveaway at one point. And, I had a sprue that had these chariots, this chaos chariot in it, and of course I don't run chaos in any, in any aspect, so just, it was just going to sit there. And, but I really love the look of the model. It's, there's got to be a way I can do this. I don't know how, but there's got to be some way. And so it took a bit, but you know, I, again, it's just a matter of thinking about the various units and abilities, and instead of thinking about the how that particular unit does what it does think about the effect it has so one day I realized the webway portal or sorry the webway uh, the jump generators that the, the uh, warp spider use are a, uh, a pretty simple way of moving through terrain and such and I realized you know um, this if I were to make a bigger version of that I could put on a vehicle a ground vehicle and it could jump if you will through the webway and get to the next part so all of a sudden I found a way to make something that counts as a ravager and this is actually the first model vehicle model I built for my my exodites and so this is my webway chariot now I'm still working on the crew uh, taking a little bit of I had to do some special conversions because I didn't want it to look exactly like the Raider uh, characters but I thought yeah this is gonna work really really well so what I ended up doing was creating taking the uh, basic chariot and mounted a this bright lance now remember the bright lance and the dark lance are the exact same profile no differences whatsoever just the fluff technology behind it. So, you know, these are Exodites. They're going to use the Bright Lance, even on these, quote, Dark Lance uh, Ravagers. And <clears throat> so the pilot or charioteer will be, you know, riding right there like he normally would. In the back by this control panel is, is the gunner, and he would be controlling the aiming of the guns. Now, you know, I've added a few extra details here, but the key was this. Uh, I, want, I need to come up with a story to make this make sense. I didn't even want to bring it to the game gaming table until I could convince myself that I had a good story and a good reason that this is a Ravager. Okay, so, you know, I kind of came up with this concept. The Exodites have adopted many old ways within their culture. And this is most commonly seen where they rely on manual labor to grow crops or hurt, you know, man their herds and crafting tools. Well, however, they've, some have adopted weapons of war that are ancient even for the Eldar. And one of those iconic old ancient weapons is the bow, which is why, again, you see bows in my dark in my exiled army. Uh, but I decided there was going to be a, this bizarre ancient vehicle employed by the Exodites called the Webway Chariot. It's a curious blend of ancient design and modern technology. Chariot, bull, par, chariot is pulled by a pair of dragons. Uh, they're, they're the old school cold ones. Uh, and unlike most other vehicles that actually use the anti-grav technology, this is a chariot. And I looked at the chariot rules and there really wasn't anything about the chariot that made it that much different except that there was a character in it that could be affected so other than that it was a, it was a vehicle right so and it could do close combat but you had the person inside doing it well that was a very small a very small uh difference is the way i was looking at it so well i decided that the where the grav uh, tank anti-grav technology was used to propel most of the craft the Webway Chariot uses a more powerful version of the Web's Warp Spider's Warp Jump Generator to cover the intervening terrain via the Webway 
instead of going through real space. It allows the chariot to quickly move past obstacles that normally block ground vehicles. So I could get through, I could literally go through walls or go through buildings uh, without difficulty. Um, so it even enables them to enter real space on top of elevated terrain that's not normally accessible to ground vehicles. So I think it's, it just, it matched. It's what I needed to make this work. So I, I did bring it. Um, now just like the regular Raider, you don't use the base for any purpose uh, as far as measuring or close combat or anything. You use the hull. And so this has almost the same length and width as the Raider or the Ravager. So I didn't need to make any changes there. Now to affect the warp jump generator on the back here, I took, let me see if I can elevate this somewhat to make it easier to see. Okay. That is vaguely shaped like the warp jump generator on the back of a warp spider. And as you can see, if you look from this side, it really, it's a Glade air freshener, uh, one of those clip-on air fresheners. Um, I filled in the, the gaping hole on this side with green stuff, and it made it a solid, a solid piece, basically. So there it is. I have my first Ravager, counts as a Ravager, and it, it is a blast to run because it looks so non-Dark Eldar that it just screams out Exodite. And I use it just like any other uh, Ravager. Um, I only run it with the Bright Lance. Again, the reason I picked the Bright Lance here, I decided not to make this convertible. I didn't want to think about it is because I needed anti-tank weaponry. At the time, I had very, very little in the way of anti-tank. Matter of fact, I don't think I had any anti-tank in the Dark Eldar Codex uh, units that I've been building. So I needed it, and this was my way to get that on the table. Very successful. Um, you know, as, as successful as a Ravager is going to be, uh, but I really enjoyed building it. Uh, it was a lot of fun uh, adding the details to it. I added uh, using the ropes from a, or cords from a Imperial Guard banner. Uh, I was able to add kind of like the, the reins, if you will, to the chariot yoke and uh, position the heads of the dragon so like they're challenging each other as they're you know going forward and they're you know, hauling forward the weapon platform. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed kind of seeing this particular side of the uh, uh, interpretation of a Ravager. Uh, it is something completely different. It looks great as a, uh, <laughs> absolutely, in my opinion, fantastic as an Exodite model. Uh, it's just a perfect match to the concept I had in my head for my Exodites. So, comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next uh, Studio Army Review video. Thanks for watching. Bye.